The tide of water in a tank is described by dHdt equals negative 1 over 25 times quantity square root of 20 minus t over 50. The initial height of water in the tank is 20 feet. What is an equation h of t for the height of water in the tank? Okay, so we're looking for h of t, which is a height. So we're looking for this right here, and we're given dHdt. So we integrate uh, derivative of height with respect to t, and we'll get height with respect to t. Looks pretty straightforward, so let's go for this. So start by rewriting the equation because, well, pretty much what I do every time. And it helps simplify life, um, put it in perspective. One way of kind of reviewing what you have is to um, rewrite it. So I enjoy doing it. And I find it useful. Okay. So then integrate both sides with respect to t. We get h of t equals negative 1 over 25, since it's a um, constant. Then we can integrate the square root of 20 and the negative t over 50 uh, separate, since they are um, separated by a neg uh, negative uh, minus. So integral of square root of 20 will just be square root of 20t minus t squared over 2. But I'll multiply that by 50 and get 100. And then we're going to have a plus C. And your thought might be, well, should the plus C be inside the brackets or outside the brackets? It doesn't matter. Um, they'd just be off by a factor of 25 or negative 1 over 25. And so that'd just be another constant. So it's fine to leave it outside the bracket. But now we're given an initial condition. So we know the initial height, basically when t equals 0 is 20 feet. And so we need to use that to find what the full equation would be. So basically to solve for what this constant c is. So if we have h of 0 equals, we'll still have that negative 1 over 25, times square root of 20 times 0 minus 0 over 100 plus c equals 20. This entire middle inner part equals zero. So this um, negative one over 25 doesn't really mean anything. So we have C equals 20. Okay, so now we can just rewrite it and solve for the entire equation. We get H of T equals negative one over 25 square root of 20 t minus t squared over 100 plus 20. That's not too bad. Move this over here, see which one kind of sort of fits. And oh, looks like it's this one. Looking at some of the other answers, you have this one right here, which the only thing that's wrong with it is it's missing the plus 20. So if you just took the integral and forgot about the plus c, you might get the top answer. But nope, it's going to be this third answer here. So the way, going back, looking at what we did. So we're given a dh dt, and we're asked to find h of t. We take the integral of dh dt to get height with respect to time, but we're left with a constant, a constant c, and we use the initial condition, i.e. the initial height at t equals 0, uh, where t equals 0 is 20 feet. Plug that into our equation, solve for c, rewrite our equation uh, without the c, because we now know what c is, and that's our answer. Sounds good? See you on the next problem.